log entry. I've chosen to teach you guys using vlogs for the next however long this might last. And uh, just wanted to catch up. Uh, first off, uh, I don't know if you remember, but I actually was absent the last three days before spring break. And the reason was um, I had surgery on my prostate. Um, if you know what that is, boys you have them, girls you don't. Um, and so I'm recovering and I'm doing pretty good. A uh, little bit of a speed bump. Um, I have a little pet that follows me around. That bag right there, that's actually my, well, it, let's say it collects urine. <laughs> so maybe that's TMI, but um, anyway, that's what I'm up to. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, I'm at my house. Um, we're going to go on a little walk. So uh, we're inside of my house now, and um, we bought a chair a bunch of years ago. There it is. Um, when my oldest daughter had a severe, uh, had a big hip operation. And this chair, we, everyone in our family has sort of a love-hate relationship with. Because uh, if you're sitting in it, it means something's wrong with you. And I'm the one who owns the chair now. And I am presently reclining it, which you probably can't see very well. How do I do that with a selfie? Anyway, my feet are up in the air. Yay! So, this is where I've been living, probably since I saw you last. Um, and people wait on me, and that's nice. Um, but also, it's given me a bunch of time to think about um, a new way of teaching. So, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah. The original owner of the chair, also known as Dr. Nito's daughter. And why, why did you have the chair? Because I had hip surgery. Uh, how old were you? 22. Yeah. Did that suck? That really sucked. Yeah. Did you have to change your college plans because of it? I did have to change my college plans because, right. because of it. Did you make it? I made it. All right. <laughs> I found my passion. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I'm in my backyard now and uh, I've noticed recently that I, it's very easy for me to go into a dark place when I start thinking about the way things used to be before all the, the world started to change. And the way I've, I'm dealing with it, which is actually working, which is why I'm telling you, is uh, I'm trying to embrace the good stuff that's changed and there actually are a bunch of things that are really really good for me that wouldn't have happened if these these worldly events hadn't taken place and one of them is uh, my daughter's home the one you you met already and uh, she lives in Iowa <laughs> she's in vet school and she was supposed to do an internship uh, right now in Oregon and when she got to the airport you know things were all messed up and she asked uh, instead of going to Oregon she could, could she go to LA and they said yes for like hardly any money and she got on the plane and knock knock she's at our house and and who knows how long she's gonna stay here but it's probably hard to imagine but uh, having a chance to spend some time with your kid 
especially when they're old. Hey, Rita, how old are you? 27. 27. So she's 27 years old. She already has a life somewhere else. She lives somewhere else, friends and everything. And now she's going to be here for who knows how long. Uh, and as a dad, that's, that's like the coolest thing. So I'm embracing that. And, and that kind of thing makes me happy. One way I can tell that my daughter is visiting is the music around here sounds a little different than what it normally does. Hope there's no dirty words coming out of that. Also, my daughter, not to dwell on my daughter, but she is somebody who does CrossFit. And if you don't know what that is, Google it if you're interested. But you basically work out a lot and you do different kinds of exercises every day. And so she's actually working out now and I'm helping her. But the thing you need to appreciate is that this water is freezing. Oh God, I can't do this. Whoa. That says 60 degrees, if you could see it. Oh my God, this anyway, is so frustrating. She's challenging herself to jump from the hot tub, which is very warm, to the pool, which is very cold. So Rita's doing her CrossFit workout for the day. I'm actually helping her. I'm timing her. There's my function. And she has all these routines. She keeps track of them. She makes wraps. She's very, very uh, into this whole thing. Uh, I would not want to run into her in a dark alley. swimming now without touching the bottom. I guess she likes to do it this way. I think that she's not touching the bottom of the pool. doesn't have a problem because I'm not really in a So yeah, she does competitions in this stuff and has trainers and, and it all sort of works together because she likes to do large animal veterinarian stuff so she can pick up cows and pigs and horses. having her around. So another thing that I've noticed has come out of this this new world we're in is that's a good thing is that there's a lot of free time and I can see people and rolling their eyes saying here goes more passion speech but yeah so uh, you know for me you guys know that I love to teach. And as soon as I thought of this idea of doing a vlog, I got so excited I couldn't even sleep. Well, I couldn't sleep anyway because I have this silly bag attached to me, but um, I was just, my head was going a mile a minute. And you know, I hope you like it, but I, I really think there's new possibilities in, in how, to, how to teach. And I think when this whole thing is over with, I'm actually going to learn some things and, and you know, ideas will come out of it that I never even would have thought of before that'll, that'll make the whole learning experience even better. And so I encourage you guys to do that too. So pay attention to what you're doing with all this time. And 
that should help you find your passion. And there's a lot of it. So here's the end of the first vlog. Um, I'm going to have lesson plans mixed in. Um, and stay tuned. And, uh, you know, try to do something nice for somebody. It's a time now where I think that's what's going to going to pull us out of this and if, if everybody tries to do that uh, we'll all be at a better place.